Hi, day three of the blog. Just finished a seven hour live stream of Rainbow Six, so uh, it's time to do something else. I'm thinking maybe do a little food shopping at Costco and then uh, look into some dance classes because uh, someone I'm seeing dances a lot and I don't want to have two left feet. So let's go. So I signed up for a bunch of dance classes. They have this special new students, 20 bucks. You can. Uh, you can do a whole week long a bunch of classes so each day has like three or four classes and a dance afterwards so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it all and I'm terrified since I, I, my stamina is not good and I don't dance very well so I'm a little bit nervous about this but uh, we'll see excited nervous you know you got two left feet you're gonna dance with a bunch of other people and you're the new guy so <laughs> so the first one at 615 we're gonna do uh, hip-hop then at 7 o'clock, we're going to do the waltz. And at 8.15, we're going to do West Coast Swing. And afterwards, you uh, have a night of dance where you learn everything and just pick up random partners and have fun. So, wish me luck! Okay, so I just finished dance class. It was from 6 p.m. all the way to 9.15. And it was super long. And I'm exhausted. But I will show off a couple moves that I learned. So uh, let me tell you my experience. First class was hip hop. And hip hop is more like a free thing, more like a oomph to your gesture of what you want to do in your expression motion. It's a little bit more loose where you can kind of do what you want and add your own special flair to it. But And you don't really have a partner to dance with. It's more like a yourself expression. And it requires a lot of energy and it's exhausting. And I was just breathing out, sweating hard. And then the next class I had, which was the Venetian Waltz, it was right after that in the same room and I didn't really get a chance to breathe and process everything. And I was just like, went straight into it. So I was like sweating and like wiping my and drinking water and then class was starting. So with the Venetian Waltz, it's a different type of waltz and it's a little bit more slower pace, but a lot more technical and, um, and in the more advanced part can get a little tricky. Now I wasn't doing a hardcore sweat, but the whole time my mind was thinking, okay, the next step, the rhythm, the beat, the next move. And since you're the guy, you lead the girl or the partner that you have to go. So everything kind of falls on your shoulder not to mess up. And you know, since it's a big beginning class, we were all messing up. But I actually really enjoyed the Venetian Waltz. Uh, and the thing is you always switch partner like every every like couple minutes you switch partners so it doesn't matter uh if you're by yourself or you win a couple it's just the way that goes you just always switch partners so it, it was a smaller class so we actually i actually went through several same partners the next class was the um, west coast swing and the west coast swing it was a full pack class and the room was tight and you also switch partners as well it's it's more like a, a beat uh, that you have to kind of follow in the rhythm of the music that you have to know the rhythm to the music same as the hip-hop oh, all music you need to know the beat to it but it's more technical in the beat but not as much as the waltz and guys you can kind of you're in charge of leading the lady but the thing is um, you kind of the lady is dependent on you it's like uh, there's no like everyone has to follow pace you can set your own pace and the lady just follows your pace and it's kind of tricky to get them to see where it is a constant move forward and backwards and the girl has to kind of pick up what direction you want to go in and that class was so full so we we're just rotating a lot of ladies in um, and uh, you know you, I never got the same partner but it was a lot of fun so let me go ahead and show you what I learned hip-hop if I can remember. I'm gonna go slow since I'm exhausted and I'm not a fast dancer and it was brand new. And the thing is all about footwork so hopefully you guys can see my feet in it. This room is kind of small. Can you guys see my feet? No? Oh man it's all about your footwork. Okay I'll try to make it work with this but the thing is we learned about pump and then it goes like this and then you can do more shoulder rolls like so once you go up you can go like a little more ump to it and then what do we do next shoot what is this okay then you swing and then you move like this and what else was next you move and you slide and you do two kicks and then stop and then the song was like you don't want to be uh, bothered so you're like doing this a couple times and then after this you pull you turn and then after you turn 
you have, jeez, what would you like to do about the turn? Okay, turn, and then you do a kick, yeah, a kick to the right, your back foot in the back, and then a kick to the left, your back foot in the back, and you spin around, and then you go up, wait, okay, you spin, okay, spin, go up, left, right, at like a, a stance right here, and you walk forward and back, and you bounce back. And then you have to repeat that to the song so it can get really tiring. Now for the waltz, we'll do a Venetian waltz. So, stand up straight as a guy. The right arm, you have to be in like a little square pose, so it goes on the shoulder of the lady, and then this goes on the other hand of the lady. Okay? And then her hand goes on your hip, I think. No, one here, okay. back of the shoulder. And this one's her hand. And then the guys, you take one step to the left, and you go one step back. And the opposite of the ladies, one step forward, one step back. And then you do one to the left, you go back, one to the left, raise the hand straight, the girl spins and it comes back to you. And then you, the end of this part gets tricky that no one got, but you, you take one step left, then go one step right, then you do your right foot, then you go left, and then you go that, and then it's like a big circle round, so that was very tricky. And then for the last part, for the West Coast Swing, what we learned was that there's like a balance of shifting power where if you go back as a guy, the girl goes back, so it's like a negative uh, attraction. But if, if you want to bring her towards you, you kind of have to lift up your feet, close to you, and she keeps going until you stop her, so you can just push, like have her this close. And it's up to you when you want to push her back. But it goes to a rhythm of back, left, triple step, forward, left, triple step. And you can kind of direct that as much as you want based on the beat music and what the guy wants to do. So it's all based on, I'll put a little video at the end. Tomorrow, we got the hardcore thing called, I think it's the Lindy. It's really hard. Yeah, the Lindy Hop. Now that one's hardcore sweating, so I'm gonna die tomorrow. So we're gonna do that. All right, take care everyone. And four, five and six, seven and eight. Then we went into check steps, starting with the left foot. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Just work on those and try them with music. Get comfortable with them. If you can make this look like you're dancing and enjoying music with it, then it's going to start coming alive into your patterns too. It won't look so robotic. We talked about the sugar push. We talked about that common center for the holidays where I'm leaning away, taking my center. She counterbalances me. This is our end up. Then we went one, two, compression and four, anchor step five and six. And uh, one, two, three and four, five and six. She's gonna hang out there, she's gonna wait until I'm compressing into the ground on one, and four, five and six. It's not about the patterns in this dance at all, it's about feeling good through your connection, and your timing is really, really important versus anything else. Thank you guys very much.